it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have this makeup look right over here, and this was inspired by a picture I saw of Patrick Ta. I'll put the picture up in the screen so that you can see it for reference. As soon as I saw the picture, it totally spoke to me. Not only because I have been obsessed with headbands recently, and of course, chunky sparkly earrings. I think this is the perfect look now for the summertime because of how glowy it is and because of how effortless and quick it was to create. This look does not need a ton of skills. You don't need to be a makeup expert in order to create this look, which is why I love it even more. And just look how glowy and beautiful and healthy our skin looks. I love it. So I'm going to shut up now and let you guys enjoy this video. But before I do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and let's get into it okay so we are ready to go ahead and get started my eyebrows are done i like to do them off camera because they take me forever to do i also went ahead and primed my eyelids i just used a concealer i put it all over the lids and then i set it with a little bit of translucent powder and that is my eyeshadow base for today's video i am going to be working off the shine to be miami miami palette look how pretty this is this is what it looks like on the inside look at all those beautiful beautiful colors I have I think I have used this palette before but I don't use it as often as I should so I definitely wanted to do a makeup tutorial using it and we're gonna do something really soft really easy so I think this palette is perfect for that alrighty so taking the shine be Miami palette I am going to go into the shade Winwood using a JH 30 brush I am going to begin to place this in the crease of the eye and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm going off this picture. I don't know. I just saw it and it was so glam, so effortless. So I'm going to try to do something a little similar to that. But of course, doing my own little twist. And this is by Patrick Ta. And I'll have the picture in the screen so that you guys can see like my idea for the look of course with my own little twist i'm taking a concealer now and i am just kind of carving out my lid carving out the crease if you will the only reason why i'm doing this is because i'm gonna go in with a shade that's more on the white side and i really want that shade to pop so i am just taking a concealer so that that shade like stands out but you definitely do not have to do this step if you don't want to. I'm gonna take the shade Biscayne, which is so cute. It's kind of like, if you're from Miami, you know, Biscayne Boulevard. <laughs> so I am going to take this and I'm going to apply this all over my entire eyelid. I'm gonna go back in with my previous blending brush and just kind of soften up that edge a little bit. Cause I don't want, I don't want to cut crease. I just want like a very soft line. I'm gonna take a little bit of Hall Over Nude, this one right here. I'm gonna take it with my finger and I'm just going to apply this like in the inner corner of the eye. Very, very soft. I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner. This one is from Pixi. It is my favorite liner at the moment. I use it a lot. It's really easy to work with, it's really creamy, and it's just perfect, and it's really affordable too. So I am going to take this, by the way, this is in black, I don't know if I said that, and I am going to kind of begin to line my top lash line, but I'm not doing a super crazy thick line. I'm going to start with a very thin line, and then I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker as I get to the outer corner of the eye. I'm taking a flat brush, and I am just going to begin to smudge out that eyeliner that we apply i'm just going to smudge it out make it really nice and smoky i'm going to go in with a pencil brush this is a sigma e30 and i'm going to go into the shade south peach right over here and i am going to work this color right on top of that smudged liner that we created so I am just smudging it right on top. I'm taking the flat brush once again with the shade Design District, which is the black shade from the palette. I'm applying the black like right at the base of the liner that we created just to make it a little bit darker right at the base. I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe and I'm just going to wipe off any fallout and I always like to clean up the outer corner. 
over nerves. I'm taking a little bit more of Biscayne and Howl Over Nude. And I'm just bringing this a little bit higher just to kind of open up the eye a little bit more. Okay, so let's move on to the skin and then we'll come back to the eyes a little bit later. I'm going to start off by priming the skin. This is the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. This gives the most beautiful, beautiful glow to the skin. So I am just applying this all over. See, look how glowy the skin looks. For foundation, I am going in with the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't know why people stopped using this foundation. This is such a great foundation. And then I'm going to mix in a little bit of my MAC Strobe Cream to make it really nice and luminous. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of color correcting. I'm taking my, uh, my Kylie Concealer in Birch. This is just to color correct a little bit right here under the eyes because I do have some darkness under there. Again, I'm gonna take my sponge and blend it out. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of cream contouring. I am taking my Chanel Tan de Soleil and I'm just going to bronze up the skin just a little bit. This is a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 Air brush. So moving on to concealer, I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And I am going to apply this under the eyes. And again, I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and blend that out. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my ColourPop concealer in light 14 and apply that to the center of the face, like chin, cupid's bow, down the bridge of the nose and forehead. And I'll also do a little bit right here in the inner corner of the eyes because I want a lot of light in that inner corner area. And again, I'm just going to blend that in. See how the center of our face is really nice and highlighted and then the rest is very nice and bronzy. So let's begin to set everything into place. I'm going to set my under eyes using the Kylie Soft Pink Pink Powder. I know, I'm sorry, I tried to switch it up for you guys today, but it's this is just my favorite ever. And then I'm going to set the skin using the Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to apply a layer of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And now we're going to bake. So I'm going to take my beauty sponge once again with a little bit more of the Kylie powder. And I'm going to put that on the sides of my nose like that. And also in the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna take the ColourPop bronzer. I don't remember the name of this one, but I'll leave it down in the description um, because the back just says bronzer. It doesn't have a name. Um, so I'll check the description box, but I am going to begin to bronze up my skin. I wanna be really nice and bronzy because this is a summertime look. And I'm gonna take a little bit and pop it right here to make the upper lip look really nice and plumped. I am going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in shade number 20, and I am gonna take it with a sponge, and I'm going to use this to carve out the bronzer area. So we're gonna go back up to the eyes. The only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to line my waterline using a nude pencil. This one is from Pixie and it is the Eye Bright Liner. I'm gonna take the JH07 brush and I'm going to wipe off the bake from under our eyes. Moving on to blush, I'm taking the Shine Up Be Miami Blush and Highlight Palette and I'm gonna take this middle blush which is called Frosa and taking it, this is a MAC 168 blush brush, and I'm going to apply it 
right here. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Bellini also. I'm gonna put a little bit of both. Taking a big dual fiber brush. This is also from Shina Bee Miami. By the way, they're not sponsoring this video. I just have a bunch of stuff and I want to use them because I've never have used them on camera. Um, this is their airbrush effect brush and I am going to buff everything into the skin while removing the bake. So I am going to really quickly pop on some lashes. These are the OG lashes in the style NYC. And then I will be right back to finish off with highlighting and with the lips. Lashes are on. Can we talk about these lashes? Oh my God, they're so wispy, so girly. I love them. I am highlighting using the Vive, the Vive Cosmetics by Vive. I know this is a Latina owned brand and this is called the Loose and Glow Highlighting Duo and I'm going to take the shade Reina right here and I'm using the Morphe JH09 brush and I'm going to smile and apply it to the top. I have so much texture right now but it is that time of the month if you know what I mean and my skin freaks out every time. I'm also taking the highlight and putting it at the tip of the nose. I think I did too much. And down the bridge of the nose. So let's go ahead and move on to the lips. I am going to line my lips using the Kylie Lip Liner in Dirty Peach. If you look at the picture, her lips are more of like the orangey peachy side. So I'm gonna take Dirty Peach and line the lips. I'm taking the Kylie Liquid Lip in Dirty Peach as well. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Yours to Try. And then I'm going to add the Kristen Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Gloss in Peach Tea. So they started cutting my lawn, so I'm sorry if it get really loud all of a sudden, but I'm going to quickly set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay guys, so this is it. This is a completed look. I popped in a headband and some sparkly earrings to match the picture and I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> but this is it. This is a completed look. I love how easy it was to do. I love how effortless and glamorous it looks, but it literally took us no time and you do not need to have a ton of skills in order to create this look. It was really easy to do and I hope you guys really like it. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I post a makeup tutorial. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.